Hi everyone. So I want to give you an update about the Monaco Streaming Film Festival and about the Cannes Film Festival. In relation to the Monaco uh, Streaming Film Festival, it's quite uneven in the sense that the content sometimes is good, such as, for example, the um, presentation from uh, Kay, I can't remember his surname, from Arte, who was good about virtual reality coming into the realm, you know, and uh, basically being the next step into the future for us content viewers, um, where we're going to get more uh, virtual reality experiences whenever we watch content, uh, thanks to higher internet speeds, um, fiber optical internet connections and also basically more advanced technology which makes me a streaming experience the film streaming experience more immersive so i look forward to that future is going to be exciting that was a very good presentation from this guy k something german guy uh, who uh, presented that yesterday however most of the content is um, not at that level of uh, goodness and insightfulness, so to speak. So um, I'm trying to do my best here, but um, sometimes I just have to take breaks. And, you know, so I went to see the Giacometti exhibition yesterday, who was also at the Grimaldi Forum. That was extremely good, very well uh, curated, very thorough. Uh, so this was a bit of art for me. Uh, and then I went back to the uh, cocktail at around 7.30, uh, 8 p.m. And then there was a wonderful, wonderful screening of To Catch a Thief, which was uh, a Hitchcock movie filmed in, on the French Riviera in the 50s. It was fabulous, totally loved it. So as I said, they're doing their best. It's the first edition, the first session of the Monaco Film Streaming Festival, but it's uneven at the moment. Anyway, I wish them good luck and I hope that they will uh, uh, you know, manage to find their balance in the future and I thank them very much to have invited me and tonight I'm going to go again for the awards ceremony which is around 7 p.m. So today I'm going to go and visit the uh, Villa Paloma which is one of my favorite muse uh, museum sites in, uh, in Monaco and um, if and when I have the time I also visit the Villa Sauber uh, which is the sister museum to the Villa Paloma in Monaco and they always have some wonderful um, very, you know, very good contemporary art exhibitions going. Um, so I look forward to that. Um, now, coming to the Cannes Film Festival, I had the weirdest experience with Joel Beckerman, a New York-based guy, like composer, music composer, who launched that um, that thing, that that educational, educational. Um, uh, initiative called Your Music, Your Future and also with another guy um, the Zoom call was like on Friday at 3 p.m. French time and so with this other guy Alphonse Babuka or Bubeka from the EXA um, collecting society I think based in um, either Sweden or, or, or Brussels somewhere in Europe um, and um, yeah, and then so I asked you know the more normal questions that an, an entertainment and music lawyer would ask. So, what is your initiative about? Uh, what do you define um, by buyout as being? You know, because there are several definitions to buyout. And the answers I got during that call, that Zoom call, with also a, a woman from SACEM called Claire uh, Couranger or Courvoyer, I think. The, most, the answers were like incomprehensible, completely muddled, untransparent. Uh, it was clear that Joel Buckman doesn't understand the subject, doesn't understand how monetization of uh, copyright works, both in the US and in, the, in Europe, for example. He couldn't understand that the uh, main underlying rights to the public performance rights are copyright. <laughs> which is like really the basics, the basics of music law. So I noticed all this and I came out of a call on Friday thinking, my God, I'm supposed to actually, you know, uh, uh, present and interview this guy, this Joel Beckerman guy during the, um, during the uh, keynote on Friday the 9th of July and basically has no idea what he's talking about. I mean, he may be full of good intentions, you know, trying to get 
more money, more mula to younger, younger uh, composers. But the thing is that even him, he launches the initiative. He has no idea what he's talking about. This is not going to, you know, go very far, I think. And um, yeah, and on uh, Saturday, while I was at the Monaco um, Streaming Film Festival, I received an email from the um, film market woman, uh, Hélène Arveillet, who contacted me to be the uh, interviewer for this session. And she was like, oh yeah, no, you're not a good fit. So you're not a good fit. And Joel Beckman and uh, Alphonse Babuka don't think that you are, uh, you know, appropriate. So um, that's that. And I was like, yeah, because I found them out because I have no fucking clue what they're talking about. And um, so they're trying to do good by saying, yeah, we need more money. We need fairer deals, but they don't understand how deals are structured and how the underlying copyrights are working, you know. Um, so that was pretty preoccupying and um, this is me, my, the end of my <laughs> not even started career as a presenter at the Cannes Film Festival. So I bid you my farewell for now and um, we'll be in touch back soon. Bye!